Okay, so now I'm going to ramp up the distractors a little bit. I have a toy that he likes. It's a squeaky toy. I put it in a container. It might, the container might pop open. It might be an utter fail, but um, I'm going to give it a try. And I have my hot box here. So I'm going to toss the dog away and put both. And I want to put the distractor right before the hot box. So he does have to give it a sniff. Good. distractor. You may have to take time with these distractors. Good boy. You may have to take a lot of time with these distractors because he's pretty good with them. But if your dog is stuck on them, just make it easier and easier so the dog decides to choose odor. These are club crackers. These are traditionally quite distracting. Um, I faked out a lot of dogs in trial with these. So we're going to, uh, to, see, to see what happens here. Come here. Good boy. He gave the club crackers a pretty good sniff, but he went right onto the odor. Good boy. Good boy. Nice. I might toss him away again, and I'm going to put the odor um, behind the distractor, so hopefully he'll have to go over the distractor. Oh boy. So again, he gave the distractor a pretty good sniff, but it didn't really phase him too much. I'm going to do it one more time. Good. Find it. Good boy. Pretty clear on that. The club crackers, with the one with the sticker, doesn't seem to have much interest, but he did give it a good sniff. Like I said, with distractors, we don't expect them to ignore it. If they can't get off them, they're licking and licking and licking. It's too high value. So you just need to pare back the value uh, for the dog. Good boy. Now I'm going to try a... Um, uh, so a food distractor that is very, um, very near and dear to him. I'm going to try some blueberries. Another video.